such a beautiful building. When I get my vacation in April, I have to check out something inside. Also the planetarium. Another little spot I have to check out at the end of the month. I guess I'll be having a staycation. I want to check out the forks. I wonder if the skate park will be open. I'm sure there are some other destinations that I'll have to seek out. You know, I bet this uh, retail location that's obviously not uh, doing so well, it's obviously closed at one time. De definitely housed a lot of excitement, probably. It's too bad. <clears throat> Figured I'd get a little bit closer. Oh, what kind of memories could have taken down place? We could have taken down inside this place long, long ago. Doors all closed off. Smashed window. And to think somebody would actually open up a retail location right here in a pretty good area of the city, really. It's for all this jewelry design. A failed dream, but at least they tried. And something, or excuse me, sometimes timing is everything. When they closed down, obviously there was no huge apartment complex being built right across. Just think of how many women and how many men would like to come across. Just right across the street, it would become a, kind of a cult little thing inside the building. Neighbors would talk to each other about the Oz jewelry design. But unfortunately, the building wasn't there. And today, and to end today's quick chapter, while I was at work today, I went to take a piss at the urinal and do up my butt and do up my belt after and the buckle snapped right off. Luckily my pants didn't fall down around my ankles. But I do need a new belt. So I went to old Calcutta. I was going to get a fancy new belt buckle for him for the old belt and just replace it. But he told me that this belt sucks and he can understand why it broke. So I did end up paying $22 for this belt. See these are rivets instead of just being screwed on there. I don't know if that really makes a difference. But uh, he helped me size this belt. This belt actually feels better. 
he was a really good salesman, and that's probably why I might have overpaid. I don't think I've ever paid $22 just for a belt. Genuine leather, but nonetheless, I am uh, even, I guess. 